so guys these are the ingredients that we'll be using and uh, we have sausage this is a normal sausage but it's cooked it's already ready we have uh, sugar a spoon of sugar and then we have meat i hope you guys you can see well this is baking powder you can use baking powder or instant uh, cheese anything of your choice and then this is salt we have baking flour okay and then we have tomato uh, tomato paste one egg and onion so these are the ingredients that we'll be using to make our pizza today so we can start preparing first we'll boil the the meat and uh, and then we can boil nyama uh, boil now we'll be preparing the dough so uh, here we are using uh, nyama kidogo too but uh, kama uko na familia kubwa the more meat that you use this is like a hundred grams of the meat okay guys so let it uh kwa sufuria kizungu sa zingine inakuwa ngumu tumeka kwa sufuria and water and then itakuwa inachemuka on the other side and then we'll put not much water magic acid to kama hiyo sasa so guys we'll start with uh, preparing our dough and uh, we'll be cracking the egg here we are using one egg you can see okay and then we'll put uh, one spoonful of sugar and then we'll be putting half spoonful of baking powder here we said we are using baking powder uh, but also you can use instant cheese okay you can see guys then also we'll be adding a pinch of salt and then now here we start mixing them all together our mixture is ready you can see then now here this is our flour a bowl it's like two cups so guys uh, here we'll be adding the flour and uh, warm water gradually until we get an even mixture guys i'll be doing this using my hands so guys i don't know how this is called in english but in our language we say to so this is what we are doing right now so guys we do this uh when you are cooking chapati this is how we were shown by our mothers you know these electric mixtures meanwhile uh remember to kona nyama in a boil but i'll be showing you once it's ready and remember this this thing is supposed to be soft it's not supposed to be hard we'll continue adding uh, flour and warm water until when when this process is over it's not a hard thing it's like the way you 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 make for chapati tofauti tofauti ni the ingredients meanwhile guys i can see the other side nyama ime imeiva i think i'm slow on this side <laughs> or what so guys i can feel now it's ready because you can see it's not sticking that much chapati so cooking pizza is not hard Instead of going unaenda kununua you and then buying a pizza is a thousand plus you can cook in the house and you can cook for your family it's not hard so i can see now it's ready here now we'll be add, adding cooking oil you can use cooking oil kama venye tu natumianga chapati or olive extra virgin oil so in my case this is what i'm using let me uh, wait for it to focus
okay and it's supposed to be virgin niya kupika but you can also use uh nini what do we call it cooking oil ili ya kawaida too and here now we'll be adding one spoon of olive oil like that doing ya it's a bit expensive so lazima ishe kuko kijiko and I uh, forgotten to tell you like at uh, this uh this size it's how many ml 125 ml it goes for 350 so guys advantage of using this olive oil it's because it's cholesterol free pure free okay but umesema hata cooking oil naweza tumia you know back at home you know me I was raised in the village so uh, when our mothers used to train us how to cook chapati, uliko nambi wafanya hivi. And then gumi yako ni kadogo, so you do it like this before you finish a whole sufuria. Sikia mama kwa na kumbia. Kanda na nguvu. <laughs> Kanda na nguvu. And then it's a whole sufuria of a family of like five, six. We learned in the hard way. So guys, here me, I use my uh, my rule of thumb like this. This is how I confirm whether it's ready. Nikichukua hivi, ispokuwa ma na juu iko ready. So now now, ukichukua na enda kumechukua yote, while umeshika a small portion on the upside, but ina vuruta na yote ina toka. So that's how I know it's ready. I don't know you guys how you. You confirm when you're making chapati, but me, this is how I confirm. You can see, and it's soft. Now we'll be covering it, and uh, then we wait for 30 minutes. And uh, for covering here, I'm, I'm using clean film. So, guys, we'll cover it like completely. So guys, uh, the price of this uh, cling film is uh, 82 bob. But in a lingana unanunua wapi. But in a far courage between 80, 80 shillings to 150. If I kuwa more than that, ikilingana na kwenye unanunua. But this one I bought uh, for 15 meters, you can see here. I bought 82 shillings. So guys, as I have told you, we'll wait for 30 minutes, okay? As we wait for those uh, 30 minutes, we'll be preparing our covering ingredients. And here we have onion, tomato, and uh, ho-ho. So guys, that's why I had a moment of silence. I was trying to recall ho ho. Uh, in it was na kizungu. It's called cups come. That's why I had gone silent for a while. So here guys, uh, we'll be removing this part because the only part we, are, we will be preparing is this one. So guys, our covering ingredients, they are ready. Our dough is ready. 30 minutes are over, you can see. Now let's open. Where we'll be using to prepare. Kweta watia, kogaragaria. 
you cut into two pieces because this one is big okay then we roll together we'll be adding to that this is thick so here guys we'll spread it iki zungu ilikuja na meli ili ah meli kikuyu in me mary and it's supposed to be thick so hapa hatuifanyi kama ile ya chapati atikue konde it's supposed to be thick okay to be circle and to be thick so guys uh, here our nini is ready and it's circle so we'll be preheating our oven for like uh, five minutes and let me show you guys the degrees that will be setting so guys here we'll be preheating our oven to 200 degrees celsius and we'll be using temperature of both sides up and down okay you can see here up and down So guys, now we'll be taking our pizza, this dough, and then we lay it here. We are supposed to be very careful, uh -huh. like that. Here it's where now we are taking our tomato paste. So as you can see, I'm using cheddar cheese. It's for KCC. Okay, and I bought it 255. Now try to cut it into small pieces so that I can be able to to smear it on the top. We'll sprinkle them on the top, around, around. So guys, as you remember, I told you I was boiling some meat. Here it is. We'll just add a little of them because we are, we are adding so many things. Not much. So yeah guys, tunaongezea uh, awa nyanya na kitungu on top. Hapa uneza eka anything of your choice, uneza eka mushroom. So guys, uh, we have attained the 200 degrees for, for 5 minutes. Now we'll be putting our pizza in. Here we'll be putting it at the middle. One, two, at the middle. Like that. You can see? Okay, like that. And then now we we'll close our oven. We'll still, uh, we set it to 180. That is in between 152 to 200 at 180 degrees. The temperature will still remain the same, up and down, and now we'll uh, wait for 12 minutes, maximum of 12 minutes, until until our pizza turns to golden brown, okay? So what we'll be doing here, we'll be checking through this transparent glass. We, uh, we won't be opening it, because once you open, you interfere with the temperature. So guys, we'll be back after 12 minutes. So guys, the 10 minutes are over, but uh, we have added to another 10 minutes because it had it turned golden brown, like the way you can see inside there. So now it's ready and uh, let's take out our pizza. 
Okay. See our pizza is ready. I want to remove it from here, from this pan, because it's hot, so that we can be able to cut. So here it's our pizza. 